Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at multiple choice questions from physics and maths. Today let us tackle a question about equipotential surface and the question is from the question paper of the exam NEET year 2022. The question is angle between an equipotential surface and electric lines of force is. Now, the four options given are 90 degree, 180 degree, 0 degree and 45 degree. If you know the answer, you can pause the video, mark your answer and cross check it. If you do not know the answer, you can proceed further with the theory. If you are able to recollect, we have already spoken in detail about electric lines of force. In fact, we were solving one of the MCQs. Uh, the question was if integral e dot ds is equal to 0 over a surface then and there were options and of course the correct option was the number of flux lines entering the surface must be equal to the number of flux lines leaving it and in order to explain this we had also seen in detail the whole concept about uh, field lines so if you have forgotten it if you want to refresh your memory you can go back and watch that episode Coming back to the question that we are solving, so what exactly is an equipotential surface? Now it is a surface such that the locus of all points on the surface are at same potential. The, the word itself actually explains this concept. Now if you recall work done in moving a charge between two points is given as the product of charge and the potential difference. Now if you consider two points on an equipotential surface then if you move a charge from a point such a point to the other what is going to be the work done? It's going to be zero because the, uh, the potential at both the points is equal. So for example from the earlier definition if W was written as Q into V at point P minus V at point Q here V at point P and V at point Q are equal since they belong to an equipotential surface. So the work done is just going to be Q into 0 and it will be 0 itself. Now equipotential surface has certain properties and um, in fact, the first property itself will reveal you what answer is there for this particular multiple choice question. So the first property is that the electric field is always perpendicular to an equipotential surface. And you can never have intersecting equipotential surfaces. Now, if you consider a point charge, how will its equipotential surface look? It will be basically a concentric spherical shell. And uh, the direction of the equipotential surface is obviously from high potential to low potential. So, so there are many properties but the property which is most important for us right now for this question was mentioned earlier that the electric field is always perpendicular to an equipotential surface. So here when you say perpendicular which angle would you consider? Yes 90 degree. So the answer for this question is first option which is 90 degree. So this is the answer here but you should always remember that in a uniform electric field any plane normal to the field direction is an equipotential surface. And uh, for an isolated point charge the equipotential surface is a sphere that means the sphere has to be concentric around the point. So if you consider different concentric spheres around the point then you can make out that they belong to different equipotential surfaces. Thank you.